It's safe to say that for 2023, the buzzword of the year is not in fact a word, it's two letters, AI. Now, imagine having yourself a fully functional chatbot for your business, completely customized to your own specifications in less time it takes to make a cup of coffee. The best part about this whole thing is you don't need any coding or really technical knowledge to get this set up. All you need to know is how to effectively ask the right questions. Now, if you guys haven't heard me talk about prompt engineering, I'll link the video above. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Josh Mount, and I'm a software engineer, entrepreneur, and filmmaker. And today I'm gonna to be breaking down for you how you can build literally any chatbot using Zapier interface. Let's get into how to build your own AI chatbot in literally five minutes or less. Now, Zapier interfaces is of course in beta because this is all new technology. We are breaking new ground here, but that doesn't mean that you can't build your own AI chatbot in less than five minutes. So we're gonna start off here by hitting this create button. So once you hit the create button, a modal will pop up asking you to create a new interface. So at this point, there are a couple templates that you can choose from. As we see, you can see a, a simple data collection form and a thank you, maybe some lead capture, a free offer, a new client intake. And these are all the things that are also offered under Zapier interfaces. But what we want is the AI chatbot. So if we go down to the bot section, it should be the last category on your screen. Or maybe if you're watching this in the future and Zapier has added more categories, just look for the bot section. So the three templates you're going to see automatically in the bot section are ZapChat, build your own AI chatbot experience for your stakeholders, Business Coach Bot, which allows you to create a virtual business coach that gives the best advice, and ExplainBot, a chatbot that explains difficult concepts in a simple way. Now the bot template you select here is really going to just depend on your business goals. Is your business goal to actively have this chatbot communicate and provide information to your customers? Is it meant for you to use it internally to specifically talk and coach you through things similar to the way people use it for ChatGPT? Or are you meaning to specifically build this and tailor this for the stakeholders of your company? Now, unless you already specifically know that you're going to either want the explain bot or the business coach bot, I always recommend going with ZapChat because it allows the most flexibility and customization for building literally your custom chat bot. Although it might be useful to use business coach bot or explain bot, more often than not, you're going to get the most out of your money and really get the most customization if you choose ZapChat. So we hit that and it says building your interface and it says, Hold, oh, and boom, we're already good. All right, so, okay. I was gonna say, I hope this isn't doxing me because uh, my name popped up there and it kind of scared me for a second. But anyways, let's get back to this. Now, when you come to this screen, you'll see a thing that says pages. Now, what is a page exactly? Well, it basically means it's literally a page. It's a page where your chatbot will be stored. Now, of course, when you choose to put this on your website, you will have different options, such as putting it in line. Maybe you wanna put it in one specific section of your website, or maybe you wanna have a whole page dedicated to it. This basically means that for each different page, it can be a different thing, whether it's a form, a chatbot, whatever. So I'm going to click into this page and it's going to say, how can I help you today? So of course, this is the AI chatbot at a clean template. We have provided no context. We've provided no information. It is literally just the base Zapier model. Now, what you're going to be presented with when you see the initial screen is the base template for the AI chatbot. It's going to be called Zapbot and it's going to say, how can I help you today? This is basically the chatbot with Little to no context for what we want to specifically build it. What do we want it to do? Who do we want it to act as? What is our chatbot going to be? This is basically a clean slate and then we can mold it to our will. Now for today's video, we're going to be building an AI chatbot for an imaginary medical clinic. We're going to be providing all the things such as the business information, what are the hours, who works there, what are the different services that they are provided, all those things that you would typically expect to see within a chatbot. But we're going to customize the way it answers it and know what information it is allowed to give and what information it should redirect back to another source. For example, if somebody asks it, is grass green? You obviously don't want your AI medical chatbot to respond with what grass is green. It should just stick to what you told it to stick to. But Zapier doesn't always consider these things. So it's important to make these clarifications known when you are actually building the AI chatbot. So we're just going to go over the left here. And of course, this might look a little bit different for you on desktop, um, but we're going to go to the page options. We're going to say page names at chat. I'm going to come up with uh, some imaginary medical clinic. Let's say uh, Barney's Medical Clinic. Uh, we'll, we'll say that. We'll say, actually, we'll, just, we'll say Barney. We'll say Barney's Clinic. And the meta title is just basically what will be displayed in browser tabs. So you can see in the top left hand corner of my screen it says zap chat or actually we'll say barney's clinic chatbot how about that now obviously for the page url we don't want it to say zap chat we want it to say barney's clinic chatbot so we'll just say bcc and once we're ready to go we just simply scroll down to the bottom here and we hit save changes now that will automatically save all of our metadata but we haven't programmed the ai chatbot in any way 
So let's get to that. Now comes the time to actually program your AI chatbot. Now I've done a really, really in-depth video on prompt engineering, but I've also done an in-depth video specifically talking with ChatGPT on how to provide it the best information to get your best results. I'll link that video above for anyone who wanna see it, but that's definitely a must watch if you want a lot more in-depth information. I go into the specifics of the way I actually ask my questions to ChatGPT and it works just as well with this because actually this is powered by GPT-4, which is OpenAI's newest learning language model and newest model. Now comes the time for me to show you exactly how to program it with no coding or technical skills required whatsoever. What I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna click on that interface and I'll see a little edit thing pop up. I'll click on that and we'll say ch chatbot name, zapbot. Now, all the information that you put in before where I said Barney's click chatbot, that was specifically just for the browser to know what that's called. But this is what's actually gonna be displayed at the top of the chatbot, as you can see right here. Okay, so in this case, I'm just gonna say Barney's medical clinic chatbot. Now for the greeting, you've got pretty much two options here. This is pretty self-explanatory between static and generated, but static is just basically your simple text that you lay out. It's going to ask that question every time. Generate is more a independent, individualized greeting that is specific to that one session. Now in my case, I'm going to simply say, thank you for contacting our clinic. How can I help? Keeping it real simple. The prompt placeholder would say, ask me anything. Now this basically means if you can see right here, if I zoom in, this is where your actual piece or the user that is going to be using your chat box interface will have in its placeholder for the input box. Now for the purposes of the prompt I'm going to be building for this imaginary medical clinics AI chatbot, I want it so that when a user starts talking with the chatbot about different symptoms they're having or maybe different things that they're feeling, the chatbot will provide helpful over-the-counter advice based on the symptoms they're told to it. But ultimately it should be redirecting the user to come into the medical clinic if the chatbot feels the symptoms are severe enough which we're going to set a very low tolerance for, so that pretty much always offers the chance to come in and book an appointment with the medical clinic. So for this part of the prompt, I've said, I will act if someone who's considering coming into the clinic due to symptoms or conditions I'm suffering from, and you will provide advice or remedies, encouraging me to book an appointment with the clinic. Now, this provides it with all the context it needs and the directive of what to do. It knows that it is acting as an AI chatbot for Barney's Medical Clinic, and it has all the information to do with medical clinics and that sort of information, but it also knows that you are acting as somebody who is feeling sick and it is scheduled to provide you with advice and ultimately encourage you to come into the clinic. Now, by default, the model that you're gonna be stuck with is OpenAI's ChatGPT 3.5. And this basically is probably the best you're gonna get for now because it provides the fastest answers. And for chatbots, you typically don't need a lot of deep thinking and a lot of context. So this will work for us just fine. Ultimately, if you do want to upgrade, it costs a bit of money on the higher Zapier plans, but that option is available to you. Now that we've got our AI chatbot all customized, let's start chatting with it. Let's see if it provides the answers adequately to our questions or if it needs a little bit more fine tuning. Notice for this AI chatbot specifically, I didn't provide any of the information about the procedures we offer, where we're located, who our doctors are, and that information. Of course, ChatGPT powered AI chatbots aren't going to know that information innately, and it's up to you to provide that information to them. So the chat and specifically the prompt are going to get more and more in depth the further down the rabbit hole you go. But let's take a look and see how we do. I'm going to hit save changes here and let's start chatting with the chat bot. Once it's saved, all we need to do is hit this share button in the top corner and click on this URL and let's start chatting with it. So when this opens up, it'll say Barney's Medical Clinic and it'll say, thank you for stopping it in our medical clinic. How can we help you? So there we go. I'm going to say, what's a common cold symptom? I'm going to say, I have a runny nose and I am feeling the chills. Let's see what it comes up with. I'm going to hit return here. It's going to provide a basic answer saying, you know, sorry to hear you're not feeling well. Sounds like you might be coming down with a cold or flu. It's important to take care of yourself and seek medical attention. So look at that. We've got a customized AI chatbot and it literally took less than five minutes. Now, now we have an AI chatbot, the real key and the real secret sauce that is going to make or break your business's AI chatbot is how effectively you can give it prompts. And that's where we get to the more in-depth options. Now, one of the things that we should know about ChatGPT is that it will tend to give wrong information. And because your AI chatbot is going to be based on the same technology that also powers ChatGPT, your information coming from this could be wrong. So let's ask a question that I didn't program into the AI chatbot saying, what exactly do you offer? Who are your doctors? What hours are you open? Notice how of all those three questions, I only gave them one of those being the hours. So let's ask about the doctors. So if we ask it who its doctors are at the clinic, let's see what it says. 
Is it going to make up some doctors or is it going to tell you that you need to call in order to get that information? Very interesting. So we can see that because I didn't provide it a list of doctors, instead of just generating the doctor's names and giving them snazzy titles and really making it all up, it tells you that it doesn't have a comprehensive list, but it reassures you that the list of doctors that it does have, which you can obtain by calling the clinic or just doing things normally, would be highly qualified. And that's really what you want. For an AI chatbot system, you want something that isn't going to go rogue, obviously, but it's ultimately the best to provide it as much information as possible. So, of course, if I'm somebody who wants to get this information, that should be known. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to actually go and edit this and I'm going to say, OK. Take our directive here and we're going to scroll down and I'm going to add a section, uh, a third paragraph. So for the third paragraph, I'm going to say that there's two doctors, Dr. McGee and Dr. Magoo, just two names I came up off the top of my head, and they both have different specialties. Okay, so now I've expanded the prompt a little bit. We said there are two doctors, Dr. McGee and Dr. Magoo. Both have 20 years of medical experience in a wide variety of areas and can respond to pretty much any condition that needs treatment. I also included a fun little fact that they were both featured on The Doctors Magazine 2023, an important piece of information that might come in handy in making sure that somebody goes to your clinic. So I've got that all done. I'll save my changes once again and we'll go take it for a spin. I'll ask it literally the exact same question for your doctors and we'll see what it says now that I've updated the prompt and made it much more in depth. Back to the chatbot here with our updated prompt. Let's ask it, who are your doctors? And what's it going to say? At Barney's Medical Clinic, we have two experienced doctors, Dr. McGee and Dr. Magoo. Both of our doctors have over 20 years of medical experience in a wide variety of areas. They are highly skilled and knowledgeable in their respective field. In fact, they were featured in The Doctors Magazine 2023 for their exceptional expertise and dedication to patient care. Whether you have a specific condition or need general medical advice, our doctors are here to help. With even just a simple prompt, we have now a customized AI chatbot that you could use for your business. And this isn't specifically stuck to one industry. You can literally customize it to be anything. You don't even have to have a business if you want to have an AI chatbot that just responds to you. If you know how to give it the correct instructions and how to build the correct prompt, you can literally have an AI chatbot in a matter of minutes. Voila, finished AI chatbot in less than five minutes. If you guys want to know more about how I craft the perfect prompts for my AI chatbots, a link to a video above where I talk about all the secrets and break down all my strategies for crafting the perfect prompts that take my chatbots to the next level and might just take yours too. Till next time, guys, I'm Josh. See you in the next one.